I've had nothing but trouble with doing resin projects in January. I asked you guys to remind me, and you have. Today, we're going to do a resin project in January. Last year, I think I went all the way to November before doing a bowl. So we're just going to get the bowl out of the way. First project of the year. So I found these loofahs. I picked some pretty ones. They've got this really cool mesh texture to them. And I think they might look really nice in a bowl. Bowl from the dollar store. You know what? I didn't even check that. Scratch that. I don't want that bowl. That's not the one we want to use. That's no good. I've actually used this one before. Um, we made the charcoal bowl in that. We used it in the last video for the pizzas and it worked really well. So uh, let's, let's use it again. So that means we're going to put in two parts resin and one part hardener. And this has been sitting in a warm water bath. So it is nice and easy to work with. I don't want to cast a clear resin because all resins yellow over time. And with these colors here, I thought it might be kind of fun to make an oceany bowl. Oceany, oceany bowl. And okay, so I've got this turquoise here. So we'll just add, let's just start with a couple drops, two, three drops. That's exactly what I'm going for. All right, so that was five drops. And you just get a nice, pale look. I've got a dark blue, a light blue, and a sea foam. Cleansing bath poofs. Okay, so now we've got a new name. These are poofs, everybody. Let's get it right. This is important. Uh, and they should just be held together with a string that we should be able to remove. And then we get this really interesting material. Okay, you can sort of see what we're looking at here. It's beautiful. Isn't that like an 80s ball gown? Yes, actually it is. Was it hard to get apart? Or no, was it just, like... no, it was just one string that held the whole thing together. So I was trying to figure out if I should like cut them up into small sections or if I should just like mash it up and shove it in the container. So just like, like shove this in there. You need a bigger bowl. I can't. I had a bigger <laughs> bowl and it didn't fit in the pressure pot. <laughs> It's rebelling. It's poofing. Did you know those were called poofs? Yes. Now we know why. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Triple taping. Ta da! <laughs> that's plenty of poof. <laughs> that's plenty of poof. Okay, I'm going to put the poof in the pot. Looks like it's going in. And I don't know. I don't know how full it's going to get. I don't think 35 ounces is going to fill up this container. And what we learned in the past is that this kind of material with lots of holes in it doesn't actually take up much volume, even though it feels like it. That looks, looks good. Looks like that filled it up a little less than halfway. Glub. Glub. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be helpful. That will definitely take up some room. Nice, okay. Mm. 
Okay, it is out of the pressure pot. I actually ended up doing a third pour, but you can see it came all the way up to the top here. Yeah, actually not, not even a problem. The poof definitely poofed <laughs> past the resin. Some issues with the wood here. It seems to have tipped. That's not gonna be a great place to mount our bowl to anymore. Basically what this does is it adds an extra step. We're adding our, we're adding an extra step here. Okay, spinning pretty true. Today I'm going to be attacking this with my easy wood tool. See how it's got that little bevel on the end? It makes it a little less aggressive for turning with resin. Hopefully, that means we won't get many chip outs today. I'm actually looking at this top edge and you can see the two extremes of the bowl. And until that ghosted image and the solid image meet up, you sort of hear that jumping sound while I turn. This is getting closer to being in round. And just like the rest of us, this bowl needs a little extra attention on its rumpus. The shavings almost look like chewing gum with all the flavor crystals in there. All of the um, poof bits. We are just getting started and it looks like a snow day here. As a Californian, you will be surprised to find out I have never experienced a snow day. <laughs> I have now said bouncing bull bottom three times into the camera and I still can't say it without giggling. the sound of a sci-fi movie right before something horrible happened. Right now, this looks really cool. I'd scrub my body with this bowl. I'm gonna core out some of this material with a forster bit. Now, a lot of wood turners would call this cheating. And you know what? I call it cheating too, but it looks really cool on camera. That's, that's super cool looking. Just tapered that down a little bit. It's not a huge change, but it gives the bowl a bit of lightness. I'm pleased with the dimensions. Let's um, let's get this all cleaned up. I 
it's time to do a little sanding. We're going to start going right through the grits. The 120, 150, 180, 240, 320, 400, 600, and 800. All right, onto my micro mesh pads. You guys know how much I like my little micro mesh polishing pads. Nine little pads, they start at 1500, go through to 12,000. A lot of you ask me how long these last. I think I've had these for a couple of years and they're coming to the end of their life, so I need to replace them. They get and then they start to delaminate. And that's a pretty good sign that it's time to get a new set of pads. Alright, and that is the last pad. Poof bowl, oceany bowl. So we did it, a resin project in January without any major issues. Is that right? That doesn't feel right. I really like the textures that you get in here. I don't think it would have looked as good had I tried to place the poofs. So just kind of smashing them in there and turning them, I think that was the best. So while it's visually really interesting with the weaves of the poofs going through it, every once in a while you can feel a tiny little fiber at the edge of the bowl. So even though the bowl is totally sanded smooth, it has a texture. It's, it's, it's one of those things you just want to feel. I mean, it just begs to be felt. <laughs> yes. You guys know I'm a sucker for the black light. That's so cool. Oh, that almost looks like clouds. It's got a very wispy, ethereal look to it. Mrs. Brown looked at it and was like, it would look really cool full of bath bombs. And a nice thing about a resin bowl is, you don't have to worry about it getting wet, so it would be a perfect bath side bowl. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out a ton. And I will see you guys in the next video.